What's wrong, bud? Okay, we're going on a shoe hunt. What do we get to do today? We are up and at it early this morning because we're going to an estate sale, which is one of my favorite things. And I found one that enticed Adam because normally he hates them. But um, actually funny story, I'm gonna segue for a quick second here. We went to an estate sale a couple years ago. This was the last time I went with Adam. You know how estate sales are usually run by like family members or something that check you out. So we come out and the person says, did you find anything interesting? Not, yeah, just not for me or something kind of nice because that's the whole person's life in there. Nope, just, nope. It, it really did happen. I didn't mean anything by it. I just, you know, there just wasn't a lot of things there that enticed a guy like me, so. Uh, we're hoping that this ranch estate sale is much different. Yeah, so anyways, this sale is at a ranch. There's irrigation piping, a lot of stuff that might be useful because we have a lot of stuff to do on the farm to get it ready for flowers. All right, so let's go. Let's go. Let's get out of town. Get out of town. <laughs> um, there's a ton of cars and we're a few minutes past the starting time and there's already cars leaving. So I'm nervous that we aren't gonna get any of the best deals and things, but um, fingers crossed and Lord willing. Hopefully, even though we're late, these people have so many things because they have so much land that we'll still snag some good deals on things that we need. Okay, that ended up being a total fail. It was cash only. I'm used to going to them and they usually let you pay with like card or Venmo or something. Um, but that's okay. There wasn't a ton that we would have wanted anyways. A lot of it had already been picked over, I think. And then a lot of it just wasn't the right kind of stuff for what we need. Um, but maybe we'll get a snack now or something because I think everyone has to use the restroom and we're like almost an hour away from home. Okay, it is a beautiful Saturday. Uh, we got a lot on the to-do list today. Uh, we've been meaning to get our greenhouse set up for the longest time and it's just not come together like we expected. One of the reasons is we didn't want to put treated wood down as the base because we'd have to wrap it in plastic. We didn't want the copper, the aluminum, the other chemicals that are used to treat it to leach into the soil. So I had to track down some cedar wood and I was able to do that yesterday uh, with the help of a friend and um, I'm super stoked to get that base done. Uh, we, got an, we got another friend coming out next weekend to help us get that uh, greenhouse put together. It's not necessarily complicated. There's just a lot of nuts and bolts. That's just something that I don't think Amanda and I need, need to do together. Um, that, that can be insanely, uh, insanely stressful. So we're just gonna avoid that project together and me and a friend are gonna take care of it and hopefully we get it done next weekend. Um, if not, you know, maybe uh, the weekend in a couple of days and uh, we should soon have a greenhouse. Okay, it is um, cold winter's day. Um, I am still trying to hustle and get this greenhouse built. I didn't get much done over the weekend and uh, I'm hoping to get it done. We have some snow in the forecast. Please. What are you doing? I play in the snow. Are you playing in the snow? So, I really want to get this wood secured before we get too much moisture and cold and, and the warm up and cool down and all that fluctuation in temperatures will definitely warp the wood pretty well and we just don't want that. So I'm hoping to get uh, ahead here and finish up tonight. Hey you guys, I'm in the seed starting shed, if you can't tell. Got my package of seeds and, and I have this box full of ranunculas and some daylilies that I just thought were pretty that I thought would be fun to plant. Not necessarily for bouquets, because I only got a couple. So the first few things I did of soil blockers, I made my own mix, but honestly this pre-mix looks like the exact same thing. Yeah, okay, I think that's pretty good. So I don't know if you can see that consistency. It holds a shape pretty well, but if you squeeze it, you can start to get a little bit of water. If you squeeze really hard, you're gonna get some. These soil blocks are also packed too tightly together. I think that's part of the problem. But if you can see the end pieces, like they're just crumbling and I can't really pick them up that well. My newer soil blocks, these ones are also spaced together a little bit too much. Okay, this is my most recent. This is the batch where I did get it more wet than all the other batches. If you can see, they look better. I also space these out more, which I think you need to do to keep them so they don't mush all together when you water them. But here, like this tipped over one, I can actually pick it up and it doesn't crumble. And 
my first few batches, <laughs> if I try picking them up, they crumble. All right, so then I just have the mini soil blocker. This fits the most. So this really is the most convenient. I started out with the big ones because like I said, I was having a hard time. But now that I've kind of gotten the consistency down a little bit more, I feel more comfortable using the tiny ones and I can get a lot more bang for my buck with the space in here with the tiny ones. Um, Cause you can fit like triple the amount of seeds on a tray. So this is definitely a space saver. Now I'm just gonna finish loading this up. Okay, I just finished my soil blocks and there are 200 spaces for seeds on this. And when I was using the big ones, I was only getting 50 in a thing. And like I said, it was also too crowded. So it really probably should have been more like 40 or something. So today we are planting Scaviosa, which I forget what Hermione says in Harry Potter, but it makes me think of that spell. And she's like, it's not blah, blah, blah. I just think. Scaviosa, it reminds me. Okay, anyways, I like using a toothpick for seeds. I don't know, these feel like they might be a little bit bigger, but all the seeds I've been working with so far um, for the Lysianthus and the Snapdragons are so small, you can hardly see them. Um, and so just like wetting the end of a toothpick and putting them in is the most efficient way. But because these seeds are bigger, I'm sure that these are gonna grow much faster. So I'm sure that I will have to pot these up in a short amount of time, but we can at least get them started in here. Then I'm going to do a hundred of these Arena Red Lysianthus. And Lysianthus and this are supposed to germinate a little bit hotter. So this is gonna be under a heat mat because it's supposed to stay around 70 degrees. Same thing with the Lysianthus. Now I have some vermiculite that I'm going to sprinkle on top and then I'm gonna mist it. And then I just need to get a heat mat set up for it and another light and it'll be good to go. Well, this is our view today. We got about uh, maybe an inch, an inch and a half of snow. Uh, definitely putting a damper on what work needs to be accomplished today. Um, but you know what? It's such a beautiful thing to see. I've always been such a huge fan of the snow. While I still have a ton of work to do indoors today, I can take a moment and, and relax a little bit and, and prep myself for the work tomorrow um, and just find joy in the beauty of God's creation because snow is so beautiful. Um, and I just, I just love it. Um, and so I hope that you're experiencing winter in its best. And um, while some of us might suffer from seasonal depression, I know that this is probably the first year that I probably have had a, a, a tinge of seasonal depression. Um, whether or not that's you, um, I just, I encourage you to, to embrace every day and what life gives you. And today it's snow, tomorrow might be sunshine. Either way, wake up each day in great thanksgiving and enjoy the day okay so today i am working in my office um, because like i said it's 20 degrees out i have a mountain of marketing work to do i'm getting ready to release a product for um, our well not my but the the company i work for is cbd brand country lane and I got some photography to finish up real quickly and the product pages and an email to go out. So I'm, I'm rushing to get that done this morning. Um, I just wanna take a quick minute just to give an update of where we are in the greenhouse phase. The greenhouse phase still isn't done. I did not finish yesterday. And you know what? I'm just, I've just been meditating in the fact that the Bible tells us to give thanks in all circumstances for that is the will of God in Christ Jesus for us. I'm grateful for God's show of beauty with the snow. Um, I'm grateful that I have a family that's gonna come home, probably hop in a sled and go have fun. And while I may not be able to join because I'm gonna be busy in my office, their laughter, the sound of them enjoying themselves brings me so much joy and I'm grateful for all of that. So I just wanna encourage people out there, no matter what you're going through, because I know that times are far more tough than the media will tell you. And, and I just think that uh, people are dealing with a lot of pain, a lot of confusion, a lot of fear, and sit back and just be thankful for the day. It's a beautiful late Friday afternoon, finally getting around to actually finishing the greenhouse base. You can see it right behind me there. Got the fire going which is right there. Um, I'm so stoked to get this base finished up. 
Uh, I can't wait to get our friend Matt out here tomorrow to help me put the greenhouse together. It's gonna be a pretty cold weekend, but uh, with all the productivity, it's gonna be so worth it just to sink our hands in and get things done. I just can't wait. Okay, it is a sunny Saturday. Thankfully, it is much warmer. How grateful can we be for that, uh, to be out here with no gloves on? Come on. Uh, it's just a beautiful day. That's the beauty about living in Central Oregon is that we do get to experience so much sunshine. Um, and that just really goes so far with our emotions and making us uh, happy. Uh, so we, I ended up getting the uh, greenhouse base finished. Technically this morning, all the wood was joined and measured yesterday, but I got to go ahead and, and just uh, make sure that it was all reinforced and make sure that it won't buckle uh, under any pressure. Um, that's solid cedar wood right there. So that's gonna last a long time because it's pretty rot resistant. Um, and I don't think the greenhouse walls will actually be touching it. I think there's a little bit of a separation. So there may not even be any wet material that ever gets close to them but I'm super stoked. We're making some progress on the greenhouse. I'm not sure exactly when we'll be finished, but I know I can see the end in sight, and that is so exciting. Keep you guys posted. All right, the men are outside working on the greenhouse. It's a new day. Hopefully they're able to finish today. Um, but I think Addison is out there with them, and it's super cute, so I wanted to bring you out. <laughs> Good. Good. Chilling, right? yeah. Definitely is exactly how I thought it would be. The internet says make sure you do it with two people and beware of doing it as a couple um, because of domestic disputes. Some people will call that a divorce project, which we don't believe in that here. But, but we didn't do it together. We didn't do it together, <laughs> that's right. Addison, are you helping Daddy Bill? Helping Daddy Bill. All right, I'm in the plant shed now to check on the plant babies. And the snapdragons are looking pretty good. A couple of them have a little bit of purpling, which means that they need fertilizer. So I've ordered that. It should get here soon. The lysianthus, the newest ones, haven't started sprouting yet, which is fine. It hasn't been that long. But the ones up here have sprouted. They're just so tiny when they uh, first sprout that you probably can't really see them. Um, but they are there. They're just hiding. And so they're off the heat mats because they have sprouted. Um, and then up here we have ranunculus. I was really worried about these, but they actually are starting to grow roots. I haven't seen sprouts up, but I pulled some out because I was worried about them. And they're growing roots. The scabiosa down here, they are going crazy. I mean, you can see some have the leaves, but it's just fun to see the seeds turn into um, have the roots climb out and still have the seed heads. They're super fun. They look like octopuses or something. I don't know. Or squid. I think it's more squid than I'm thinking. Octopuses. Is that cool? Yeah. This is black African daisy. Super, oh, super chill. beautiful. Can't wait for those. Um, and then this one is status. And these just went in the other day too. No progress yet. Sometimes the family just disappears and I don't know where to find them except that few. I mean, surprising in the plant baby studio. Ah! Did I scare you? Oh. I tried. What are we doing in here? All the baby snaps. Ha ah, snap. Ooh, what a day. I am scooching. <laughs> so we all uh, we all we all fit in the camera. Well you had fun today at a birthday party, right Addison? You got to see your friends, right? Can you say hi? Hi. What are you doing right now? Are you playing push? He likes he likes to be thrown back <laughs> and doing that little thing. Um, he calls it psh because that, that, that's the kind of the sound I make when I'm throwing the kids around. Um, I do it gently, of course. Anyways, we um, it's the greenhouse is the project that keeps on going and going. We got three sections done. Um, one section is completely attached. 
Um, it's not anchored to the, the base yet, but um, it's good to see that the width of the uh, um, base is exactly how I need it to be. It needs to be just slightly under 10 feet so that the sections could overlap. And with the greenhouse- We're feeling more confident because we just bought- A lot of flowers. <laughs> I think we bought over almost 200, if not 200 um, plants today. A uh, mixture of roses, different perennials, um, some fillers. Um, some yeah, a lot of perennials that will be Blooming in June. So, hey buddy, what's going on? What's going on, dude? We're filming. He wants more. Psh. Oh, we'll get more psh in a second, kiddo. Just overall, we're, we're stocking up and things seem to be going fairly well right now. We should have our skid steer back from maintenance um, Monday or Wednesday. So we'll get going on the pond this coming week. And uh, it will, we'll have irrigation um, in by the end of uh, March, if not sooner, just in time for the- um, hey kind of the start of the growing season here in Central Oregon. Um, anything that we do plant at that time, we'll have to have um, crop covers because it will still freeze into June. Um, I'll start keeping a diary here once we get into spring, just to kind of see what our daytime temperatures are. So I can kind of look back because it is really unique and there's not really a weather station for our section, uh, for our town specifically. So because it does have a microclimate, I kind of want to have a record for what to expect for the next year. Um, so we are trying to document as much as we can so that we have a really successful second year. But our first year is looking pretty good. Ah! Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> yep. Here's a massive <laughs> delivery of dirt that Adam got that he was thinking was what we are going to need for the greenhouse. What is that, Addison? What's that truck have? Does it have dirt? Yeah, dirt. Lots of dirt. Lots of dirt. Hmm. What did you learn this week? that I need to double check all of Adam's math. I'm always tossing so many things in my head that 36 inches can on paper can come down to 36 feet and I'm just like, that doesn't make sense and I'll go with it. Basically, Adam thought he was ordering enough soil for our greenhouse for one side so we can start some ranunculus, um, but he probably ordered enough for us for all summer for all the rows of plants that we're gonna be doing or at least a good majority. A good majority. I mean, the good thing is it will eventually go to use. Like I said, I, I'm just a, a humble person that knows I, I can make some very foolish mistakes. What's math anyways? So, I. <laughs> All right, here's the progress that the men made with the greenhouse. No, we had to extend it a little bit for some reason. It came out a little, a little bit longer than the instructions. Um, you're probably thinking, haha, math guy. Probably because he didn't double check your math, but no, I did. Yeah, so you can see that I, when I'm in the right state of mind, my math checks out just pretty much just fine. <laughs> so yeah, we have a ton of soil coming. Uh, I think these mistakes happen when you can afford to make them and that's the, the beauty of it. Um, but I'd rather not make the mistakes because we can't afford them uh, and, and less mistakes would happen that way. Um, but the joy of doing all of this is, is learning something new and uh, we're just really excited to see it take shape and um, we have so many projects on, on the horizon. We have, uh, we have to dig a pond. We have to um, install irrigation. We have to uh, build a high tunnel that's gonna be longer than our current greenhouse to support our other plants. We have uh, raised beds to make for our vegetables, uh, for our family and for our fruit, um, our blueberry bushes, our raspberry plants and blackberry plants. Um, we're actually gonna be using some of the blackberry foliage in our bouquets. Um, because they're they're thornless and they're beautiful. Um, so, just to kind of give you some perspective of all the things we have to accomplish, it's a it's a wild list of needs and necessities, and um, we're all doing it with a smile on our face. Yeah, I think that we're probably gonna have a learning experience every week or every couple of weeks because this is our first year. So there's a lot of humbling moments. Um, I think we're going into it though, knowing that we know not everything that we need to know. So we have a right headspace of failures. So, I mean, hopefully we have more wins than failures, but I'm sure that there will be both along the way. Boys, boys trying to say something. Anyways, we will see you guys in the next video.